Oh man, it's going down between AD and Sharp. This all popped off when Sharp went on his YouTube live and said that he wished one of the shows that AD and House Phone is doing to fail. Like he doesn't want it to succeed. He hopes that it is dead on arrival. Hell, I don't. Hey right, man, shout out to them, man. Do y'all do y'all thing. Straight up. Hope it work out. I ain't gonna lie, I told House Phone, I hope it fails, but I ain't going to, like, for real, I probably shouldn't have said that to him. But that's, like, that's that's still my nigga, bro. You know, I just know what I know. Like, it's cool. Well, AD would respond on community clips by saying that he thinks whatever Sharp said about hoping his show fails was incredibly corny and also said that Sharp recently called him to let him know that he was dissing members of Figmunity and AD doubles down saying that Sharp is a hater and a sucker for even using this type of language. Like, basically, why would you want your mans to fail? Well, maybe they aren't his mans. It's fake with somebody else, yeah. too. There's one more nigga I got to address from over there and shit, too. All right, let's go. Who else you got, bro? That nigga Sharp. Sharp? What Sharp done did? Sharp. I got to I got to speak on this. I got I, I got I got to speak on it because you know niggas uh niggas ain't never really really had a problem with Shark. You feel me? We've already showed him love. I know you yelled at him a couple of times for shit like that. But for the most part, niggas not give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying, certain shit. So, you know, the whole time we was going back and forth and we was doing our thing, the nigga never said nothing. He was staying out of that shit. You feel me? He didn't you didn't hear him say too much. You didn't hear him say too much of anything. And then, nigga, I get a random phone call from him. And he like, oh, yeah, I'm getting at y'all church. And I'm like, you getting at us? You feel me? So, he, you know, we got an interview coming out. I guess he, he dissing and all that. But I'm thinking this shit is just content. I'm thinking like, oh, okay, you doing this shit for content. It's supposed to be cool. And then, you feel me? The nigga hit up house phone. Like, yeah, nigga, you and AD new show about to fail. I'm like, what type of sucking shit is that, nigga? Say if my fucking, our new show was gonna fail? Like, you want a shit to do bad, nigga? Like, real niggas don't hate on niggas, bro. That shit weak as fuck. And if you call, if you say that you cool with a nigga, bro, don't wish bad on nothing I got going on or any type of endeavor. I don't fuck with that shit. And then I get another phone call today. Did you call him? No, I ain't got nothing to say when a nigga talk like that. I got another phone call today. So is it up or what? If, if a nigga speaking, it's up, 100%. And then AD said there was another call that he received from inside the No Jumper studio where someone told him Sharp was bashing AD and t -Rell. Then I get another phone call today, nigga say, hey, nephew, watch that nigga, because he in the office saying, fuck y'all, fuck t -Rell, fuck all that shit and everything like that. So I'm like, all right, cuz. No more of that fake shit, nigga. If you got issues with any of us, nigga, let that shit be known, niggas. We're not playing the content game with you, Sharp. 100%. Ain't going to be no back and forth. Ain't going to be none of that with none of you niggas no more. And I'm going to leave it like that. I mean, I, I, you're playing the content game with other people over there, so why why is he exempt? Why, why are you? Because them niggas, is act, they, they're actual homies, and niggas are holler at each other. But okay. if a nigga, you don't think that's what he's doing? Like he see that going on? Like oh, that's the nah. that's the that's what everybody owns. Yeah, so let me yeah, join but in. If you, but if you in the office dissing us, nigga, behind closed doors, like you really got problems with us, nigga, let that shit be known. What you gonna call a nigga for then? Is there a mole inside the No Jumper Studio, or did someone just watch this YouTube clip? That's right, we kept the files, y'all, and it turns out that AD is directly referencing this clip from the Adam and Wax show, and you could hear. Sharp in the background taking shots at community. Well, actually, Fig Community World. The little duck that was on here the other day with. Hey, Wack, you got a nigga out here who wanna box you. Okay, great. I was just gonna let you know. Gotcha. He likes you a lot. He said he likes you a lot. Gotcha. He likes you so much, he wants to box you. Great. Yeah. We got that. We're, we're podcasting. Time to take right a seat. Right, okay. You know, they're gonna fuck Sharp up. Who? He dissed the whole Fig. Big immunity. I'm there. You don't know? He just there. dissed. He, he mentioned it. No, no. I didn't see no, it, though. I he dissed it. the whole shit. I said it. So it's on. I said it. Okay. I got to see it. Everybody. 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 Not Duno. Everybody. Not Leather. Even AD. 
What? And you know the only one he gave a shout out to? Mm -hmm. Nephew, I'm just keeping it real now, was T-Rail's mom. Heavenly Paz. He said something about she's a player and she used to uh, be with a guy like him in his uh, ex-profession, past profession, and that he's looked out for her and he will look out for her again. That they sounds, got, sounds got, like a sneak diss if you ask me. Bro, he said they got on camera. Oh, man. Well, maybe AD does have a point. Maybe Sharp did pop the trunk. And now it's time for AD to fire back. Will this escalate? And how will it escalate? As AD said that he's done playing the content game with Sharp. Essentially saying that Sharp is being two-faced. You know, in the beginning of the fallout with No Jumper, members of Figmunity were likely lobbying for Sharp to join their side. Because if Sharp had left, that would have been a really, really big hit to No Jumper. I mean, the infrastructure of what No Jumper was at the time was very much being shifted. It was gradually being moved around with major players who were on the channel leaving. So Sharp leaving would have done even more damage. But Sharp stuck with the No Jumper brand, refusing to even say anything negative about Fig Munity, as evidenced by this clip in an interview with Adam22. And I can't really like identify the thing that I did to them that was so fucked up that they had to leave, or by, that by proxy you should have to leave as well. That was a lot. I was just like, ah, oh, man, like, because I fuck with everybody, homie, and mm. I, I'm sure, like, I ain't saying nobody says it, but I'm not sure motherfuckers be like, well, damn, you know, fuck sharp then. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. Like, but I, man, I had nothing. I have, I have had, will, nothing but love for everybody that was here. Being here, leaving, doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't change, bro. Mm. I don't just change on people overnight. So I'm always going to have love for them. I'm always going to shoot my support. But, hey, man, over here, this, this is, I, I I touched some bread in this motherfucker. Mm. So I ain't about to, you know. I, oh, we have a good no. relationship and we do good business. We but, do great fucking but business. That, but now we see that the peace treaty between the two parties seems to be pretty fragile. It looks like things have really hit the fan. And I'm wondering how Sharp will deal with the backlash. Do you think Sharp was always cool with Fig Munity? Or was he playing it coy to avoid any potential dust-ups with people who used to be his co-workers. Also, what do other members of No Jumper feel? Like, are they going to get involved with this escalating tension between No Jumper, community? Like, are they going to start to pile on themselves? I'm telling y'all, man, this back and forth really seems like it will never end. This is like a cycle, y'all. This is like a never-ending cycle to podcast content beef. And I really hope it stays that way. I don't want anybody to actually get physical. AD, why don't you want to make it content no more? Come on now. There's no need to insinuate things could get violent or things could get more escalated. Come on, let's have a good time. Cut the mics on. Let's have a party. The way you respond to this is by making sure your show don't fail. Not to get angry. Not to be upset. You should roll sharp back. We all know what's going on with Sharp and Damn, homie. Mention that. Don't get in your feelings, AD. Come on, you got to find the tick. <laughs> I hate y'all. This is Danny from The Stop. Like I always say, let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe to the No Jumper YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter, The Stop TV. Man, this No Jumper world is just really crazy. All right, y'all. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace.